welcome back to Trilogy Tech Talk. I'm Rena Santoro, and we are in New Orleans for the SC14 event. I'm here with Bob Braham, who is the CMO of SGI. Bob, how are you doing today? Very good, thanks, Rena. Great. So, what is SGI bringing to the HPC community today? Well, we've had a long-standing history of being a leader in the world of compute, data analytics, and data management. And really, for it's all about breakthrough technology. For things like NASA Ames, who this week we announced is the number 11 player on the top 500 compute, supercompute list, which we actually displaced a well-known larger competitor to get that win, thank you very much. Okay. Historically, we've had some terrific customers like Dr. Stephen Hawking at Cambridge University working with us to find the next planet Earth. PayPal working with our systems to do real-time credit card fraud detection to catch the bad guys in the act. And we've had a lot of focus on key vertical markets where frankly I think we're tough to beat. Areas like research, manufacturing, U.S. federal government, oil and gas and finance. So it's a real combination of breakthrough technology, focus on key verticals, that's what we've been all about. All right, and what are you guys showcasing today at the SC14 event? We have a, a large product launch we're promoting this week. It's really about a theme we call the path to exascale, so helping our customers achieve exaflop capabilities by the year 2020. There were four key products we're bringing to the market this week. One is our well-known supercomputer called the Ice X. We now call the Ice Exa. It's a sixth generation supercomputer with improved performance, power cooling and management. We have our well-known in-memory system called the UV. We're announcing the UV 300 and its little brother, the UV 30, which is used for general purpose data analytics and streaming. We have an enhanced version to our system management software we call SGI SMC 3.0. There's a lot of acronyms in there. That's also for improved power and health management. In fact, that software combined with our ICE EXA gives customers a 30% advantage in power and cooling versus our nearest competitor. And then finally, we're announcing SGI Remote Services. What we've learned, Rena, from commercial customers is that every problem does not need a body to fix on site. So by having remote services, we can offer people improved support at better operational efficiencies. Those four things we're coming out with this week, it's a great story. Woo, that's a lot. So how is SGI actually differentiating itself through your competitors? We have a great history of breakthrough performance in the tech computing space. And we're actually taking that to the commercial world with announcements like SAP HANA we launched earlier this month. But what it's really about is finding ways to continue to push the boundaries in supercomputing. So in the top 500, we had a goal of achieving nine new wins in our fiscal uh, 2015, which goes from July to June. In four months, we have six of those nine already, including uh, NASA Goddard Space Center, where we displaced a competitor. We have a two petaflop system. That's a lot of petaflop, but what that is, is essentially the power of 4,000 PCs in one supercomputer. We continue to really push the leading edge in what we call in-memory with our UV. In-memory is high-density memory on a single system, so we have customers in the research space with up to 64 terabytes and 4,000 cores doing some really heavy-duty research. You guys are going to be tested. So, Bob, thank you very much, and uh, thanks for taking your time to talk to Trilogy Tech Talk. Other than that, how is New Orleans treating you? Uh, New Orleans has been treating us very well. You look at the booth, we won six HPC Wire Awards for excellence in our products. We've had a chance to see the city a little bit. It's been a good week. All right. All right. Thank you very, very much. And take care. Thank you very much. Thank you.